A lot of waste in our home can be prevented by making homemade versions of store-bought items, be it homemade sauces, home decor, storage containers, or cleaning agents. We often use microwave to cook and reheat food. These orange peels with little vinegar are perfect to clean an appliance that cooks the food through direct contact. While waiting, I'll put away the clean dishes. Microwaving citrus peels like lemon, orange, tangerine has dual purpose. Does it not only loosen up the food particles but also deodorizes the space? Add a few drops of your favorite essential oil and keep this in your washroom to freshen up the room. White vinegar is in the most pleasant smelling or exciting cleaner. Luckily, using orange peel with it for cleaning can liven up your green cleaning routine. I have a few bottles that I want to reuse but don't like the labels on them so what I do is if it's a glass bottle I fill it up with water and microwave for 4 to 5 minutes. The heat will help loosen the sticky glue on the bottle. If it is a plastic bottle I freeze it for a while. Handle with precaution as the bottle should be hot while you're removing the label. Square and rectangular containers are great space savers compared to circular containers. These look more organized and uniform as well. While storing food or produce, choose your containers carefully. If it needs reheating, then store it in glass containers. If it must be just stored for later use, you can very well store it in plastic containers. It is not absolutely possible to go plastic free but we can learn to consciously use them in our daily life. An hour has passed. I think it's a good time to peel the label of the plastic bottle. The freezing method is much simpler but takes longer compared to microwaving to peel labels. These are some plant cuttings from my front yard. Remove the extra leaves and arrange the longer stem at the back and smaller stems at the front. Arrange them according to height wise and spread it out nicely. It's an excellent and zero cost way to beautify any space in your home. The cost of a regular flower bouquet is minimum $10 which lasts for one or two weeks max. After it dries out, we usually throw it away. Here is an excellent way to reuse them in a simple dried flower bouquet.
dried flowers are perfect because they can look the same for weeks and months. These flowers have excellent textures and aesthetic potential than fresh arrangements which make them perfect for people who like to indulge in something new and exciting. In some cultures, these are given as housewarming or occasional gifts, but some tend to believe that dried flowers invite death. It's all about your perspective. If they are preserved properly, they keep their shape and essence for a long time. Doesn't this look beautiful on the door? For lunch, I'm making quinoa bowl with baked veggies and pesto dressing. By placing a kitchen towel under the cutting board, it creates friction between the board and the countertop. Filling up your fridge to a point where some of the items in them are out of sight will ultimately result in some food being forgotten or and eventually going bad. So I have the system in place where I keep new produce in the left crisper drawer and last week's produce in the right crisper drawer. This way I know which has to be consumed first before it goes bad. I'm making pesto sauce and later will thin it out with water for dressing. Adding some fresh basil, garlic, lemon juice, cashews, salt and olive oil and we'll blend it into a sauce. The pesto making process generally involves very few ingredients and some olive oil. It has so many uses. It can be used as pasta sauce, as a dressing, as spread on bread or crackers or as a dip. I bought a new umami flavored seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm giving it a try with these veggies. Using seasonings instead of individual spice blends speeds up the prep work. Store the cut cauliflower florets in a Ziploc bag. Fresh cauliflower heads stored in a loosely closed or perforated plastic bag in the refrigerator tend to last longer. Did you know you can cook corn with its husk for just 4-5 to five minutes in microwave? I saw this on TikTok and wanted to test it out. You can use your veggie peels to make vegetable stock or just compost them. I'm doing neither. <laughs> but will trash the degradable waste and recyclable waste separately. This is fantastic. It cooked and less cleaning work for me. Storing these homemade sauces in glass jars is not only convenient but also easier on our pocket. Creating a zero waste home may seem daunting but it's actually quite simple. Hence, I'm undertaking small projects to reuse or upcycle things at home. Do not only help the environment overall, even though I use a lot of plastic bottles, but also save some money and create a healthy home for my family.